If you watched AYL last week, you saw us cover the jackpot. 2009, more power than it's ever had. It was a beautiful bike. If you missed it, you'll have to go to our website because this week we're going to look at the 2009 Victory Vision. Without a doubt, this is the most technologically advanced motorcycle ever manufactured. If they ever built a motorcycle for highway travel, Victory's vision would have to be the ultimate answer. Now, as I said a moment ago, they started with driver comfort and then constructed an entire motorcycle around it. So let's define a little bit of what they mean by that. First off, we want to talk about how they've handled the fuel. Fuel management in the Victory Vision is different than any other motorcycle out there because the tank is not here. The weight of that fuel is down here in two saddlebags on either side. So what that does is it pushes that uh, weight down and lowers your center of gravity. When you have a lower center of gravity, that means that you have a much more stable bike. And if you ever were envious of those cops that did all those parade maneuvers at two miles an hour on their Harleys, well, without that kind of training and experience, you can do it right out of the box with a Victory Vision. Now, another thing to talk about on the Victory is your comfort on the open road. The lighting on this is different and more significant than any other production bike out there. The Victory Vision has three lights on it. It has your typical high beam, low beam, and then it has this center beam, and it is a wide white beam. It's very bright, and it illuminates the entire road in front of you. So when you're on deer patrol on the back roads, barreling down the highway at night, you get the kind of vision you need in front of you, i.e. Victory Vision, that will safely light your way and not give you any grief. The turn signal indicators are long and broad, which means that they really stand out so that your intentions are known to other drivers. And if you look at the lighting in the back, I dare say there's not another motorcycle in production that has more red on the tail than the Victory Vision. When I first saw this bike a couple of years ago, my thought was that it came right off the uh, flight deck of Battlestar Galactica. And uh, as uh, Max Maxiden, the general manager at Tri-City told me, there's at least one dump truck operator that agrees with me because he saw one of their service people riding one and he commented that it looked like a spaceship. Let's talk about driver comfort over the saddle for just a minute. 26 inches. The lowest road cruiser out there as far as seat height goes, which means it's easy to get your feet on the ground, it's easy to get your bearing, which also means that a bike of this size now becomes something that women can comfortably handle because they can get their feet out easily and get that center of gravity down. So height doesn't become an issue in controlling this bike. Now another thing that I want to point out is the layout of the motor. 106 cubic inches of power, 93 horsepower. This is a great machine, gives you plenty of get up and go that'll keep up with, oh, even say the Honda Goldwings, maybe even surpass them. But here's the difference. This engine is a V-twin, which means that its profile is narrow. Where you get into a four-cylinder and a gold wing, you've got four cylinders across the front, which means that your leg space is limited to right here or a peg on the outside of the motor's spread eagle. Not on the Vision. You can ride here, you can ride here, you can ride here, or you can even get one of these little custom uh, Victory footrests and ride wide, but you're not spread out to a point of discomfort. The seat is narrow in the saddle, probably eight, nine inches across, which means that you can get in close. So as far as driver comfort goes, there's not another bike like this. Now, as far as some of the comfort uh, things, check this out. It's one of my favorites. It has a telescoping windshield, which means that as you're driving down the road, and you need a little more wind for cooling, drop it down. It brings that wind arc down over your face, cools it off. If you want a little bit more protection, you bring it up a little bit, and it creates that airstream higher and keeps you warmer. Then you can accentuate that with these side wings. You can adjust the amount of air that travels in close to your body to either accentuate heating or cooling. So this bike is really an all-weather bike. Add to it the heated hand grips and the heated seats 
and you've just extended your biking season by three to four months. This is a great, great feature on this bike. Now let's turn our attention for just a minute to some of the driver controls. Now in, the, in this bike, you've got pockets on either side. You've got your fuel fill here, which is out of sight, nice and clean, and you can keep it locked. You also have a pocket on this side for your iPod. So you can program your MP3 player, drop it in here, plug it in, and then the remote control to run your iPod is right here at your fingertips. So you can enjoy tunes or your favorite book on tape or whatever it is that you want to listen to while you ride. Great way to go through the country. Then on this side, they've got cruise control. Yes, honest to goodness, fully functioning cruise control. Turn it on, set your speed, accelerate, decelerate, resume. You can run the bike from your fingertips, which gives you a lot more comfort while you're driving. Now, on the uh, issue of creature comforts, this bike has an air suspension on it, which means that it has one of the softest rides out there for soaking up the uh, bumps and uh, train tracks and all those things you have to cross on the road. But there's one safety feature that I want to point out that goes beyond comfort. And for that, I'm going to need a little help from Max at Tri-City. And that is the lay down protection feature of this particular bike. I'm going to let you walk over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There you are. At a stop sign, your foot slipped in the gravel, your bike goes over. Now, under normal circumstances, you'd be in for a new exhaust pipe. You might be in for some body work up front, but because of the tip over protection feature built into the Victory, this bike stops. But here's the better part. It doesn't go clean on its side, and when you have to put it back up, you don't have to call a wrecker. Single, one person, their bike goes over on a lonely intersection out in the country, and you can just Put a hand here, hand on the handlebar, and you basically just walk the bike back up. Now you've got the bike up, you're back in control, you can drop the kickstand down, and you're on your way. Passenger comfort for the road is no less important to the people at Victory in the Vision. Uh, of course, the rider seat has got a sculpted back on it, gives you some lower back support while you're driving, but they've got the second passenger seat raised and elevated so they've got better vision over your shoulder while they're riding, they have their own back, their own set of stereo speakers, and standard saddlebags. Optional, you can get luggage custom built that fits in here. So if you're on a multi-day trip, your change of clothes fit in either of the saddlebags, and if you order the optional trunk, you can get a third custom bag that fits in the trunk, which means that finally, without having to have a trailer, you've got a long distance runner that you can pack enough clothing for a multi-day trip and be perfectly comfortable. In fact, there's enough room for the girls' hair dryer in there too. Oh, that'll get me in trouble. Well, enough talk about some of the features. There are some other things I'd like to explain to you, but we need to be rolling for you to really get the impact. So that sounds like the perfect invitation to mount up and ride. We'll see you on the open road. If I had to find a way to describe Victory's vision as far as handling goes, I think the first thing I'd have to say is it's intuitive. It's the low center of gravity makes uh, uh, turns and counter steering very easy. It lays into the turns with smooth confidence. The air suspension makes it ride across the bumps and glide. And the slow cornering and maneuvering, you really feel like a pro. One thing to really note is how important that ability to move your legs around and find different positions is to prevent fatigue on long stretches of road. With the vision, those subtle movements of the leg while you're cruising and the very different positions you can put your legs in really make traveling very, very comfortable. I give this bike an A+. It's one that uh, just would make an excellent long-range cruiser and I think you're going to see a lot more of them in the future. If you want to check this bike out, and I really recommend that you do, head on over to Tri-City Polaris in Springville or Centerville. That's where this bike came from.